yes, we want to use the screen, but I want to get you off me by a yard or two yards before I come off the screen, because then you're really in trouble, right? So now you've got to find me again, get tight to me again, and you've got to navigate a screen. So one way is to beat him or to fake him, right? Now I got my yard, right? Now as you start to come back, I'm right here, right? So I created a, a difficult situation. Whereas coaches told you, if I'm the best player on the team, he said, get tight into him and force him off the screen. Now I come off the screen, even if you're trailing me tight, I'm not creating a big advantage for him. His man can take more liberties because the passing lanes are smaller. I don't have a shot, so he can keep retreating. Now this is given that maybe they drop. In the NBA, they drop in the middle a lot. Yeah. High school, they may come out and show more, they might be flat. So you, you, you're not making this, putting this guy under pressure because this guy's still attached. So I need to get you off me. If I go here and then I try to come off, I gave you a chance to get back. So I want to get you down to a position, right? Now I know the screen, screen's there, right? So I could just come straight off and I create a yard. I've got you into a position. Okay, now you're a yard away. Now you follow me. Now what? Stop right there. Now what does this guy do? He's gonna drop. He, well, or he, he either comes up or he drops too much because he doesn't want me to go around him. We've put him in a horrible position, right? If you're here, he can start cheating, right? He can start going back because he knows you can, you can bother the shot and he can meet you and his man at the root basket, right? So now I've created this position. Now I think it's my job to attack him, right? And that might be oh, a hard dribble to get him up and pass, or that might be, you know, to get him in deeper and make him commit, but you want to make him commit to you. But it's all created by creating space off the pick and roll. Don't rely on the pick. Do something to get your guy in a bad position. So there's a time, though, if you're playing a guy who's quicker and stronger than you, that you might have to turn your back, okay? I don't like this. So I want to use what's called a hip swivel to get back to, back to neutral, where it's one-on-one, -on -one, like this, right? You're guarding me, you feel probably feel pretty comfortable right now, right? Yeah. I'm looking away from the basket, so the ball's away from the basket, my head's gotta turn like this, it's not an easy position to do anything profound in, right? So I wanna be able to get you to where I, and then hip swivel. If I get you here and I hip swivel, I might just go, right? I think what you're gonna do if you're smart is, is take a step off. Now I'm winning again. I mean, it's no fun when a guy turns his hips and he can go left, right. And if I turn on home, I could be up in the air shooting it too, right? So get him to, if you have to, I hope you never have to turn your back, but if you have to, get him here, you're bumping me, bumping me, bumping me. All right? All right, get in that position. Now as soon as you take that little drop half step, Okay, you did this. Come guard me again. You did this. What do you like? You push me here and I go like this. Do you like that as a defender or do you like this? What I'd also like to do sometimes is pull right there. That's the last place he expects, right? All right, boom. All right, because you're expecting me to either go that way or off. Mm -hmm. But my point is I got you in a position where I'm in charge and I have the advantage. 